We're out here today testing out the new Red Komodo. We've got it for a few days and we're going to see if we like it. We're gonna let you see some of the test footage to see if you like it and might want one for yourself. We're still a little on the fence on if we're gonna get one or not, but we've been testing it out and it's pretty cool. It's really light and really small and kind of fun to use. We're gonna do a side-by-side -side comparison of the Red Komodo with the Red Weapon with the Dragon Sensor in it. And we're gonna see which image we like better. We're gonna see if the dynamic range is up to our spec and up to our liking. And it shoots 6K, so same resolution as the last camera. It has a global shutter, so no rolling shutter, so that's a big plus, but other than that, there are some quirks for sure. There's some things that we like about it and some things we don't like about it. We're gonna let you make that decision, but yeah, it's, oh, there, there it is. There's the red Komodo. So we've got it in its smallest configuration right now. Very tiny, very compact. We have our model over here doing some expert looking. And we've got my unicycle. We're going to test these two cameras here. We've got the Red Weapon 6K carbon fiber right here, and we have the Red Komodo. DSMC2 versus DSMC3, which one's gonna be better? We're gonna test it out. Looking up there, we're going to test dynamic range and sharpness of these two. We're going to use the same lens. We're gonna use this nice Sigma lens on both, and it's gonna look pretty good. So that was a test and comparison of the Red Weapon 6K Carbon Fiber and the Red Komodo. Let me know how you liked that down in the comments. Uh, let me know if you liked all that cinematic footage. It was quite fun to film all this. Thanks to Chance and Rose for being in the video. It was a fun, fun shoot for sure. Which camera do you like better? Let me know down in the comments whether you like the big red or if you like the little red which one has a better look to you. And yeah, we're just trying to test that out for ourselves, really. We're trying to see if it's a good idea to keep this camera or to get a red Komodo to replace it because this camera is quite heavy and hard to lug around on a lot of our jobs. I don't know, I'm kind of attached to this one. We both are, it's very nice, but 
This camera's quite light and it has a lot of cool new features. All right, Chance, which camera do you want? I want them both. But if I can't have both, I gotta take the big one because that dynamic range looks a little bit better. But the form factor of the Komodo, I'm kind of in love with. Which one are you gonna get? Well, I already have one of them. I mean, which one so, are you gonna go with? Honestly, the portability and the size of the Komodo makes me really like it, even if the dynamic range is not quite there. Uh, color science, still need to test that a little bit more before I make a decision, but we might be adding it to the arsenal. We'll see. Form factor's great, fits on the smaller gimbals. It has autofocus, which is great. Fits on the glide cam without breaking my back, you know? A lot of stuff going for it. All right, you heard it right here, folks. They're both amazing cameras. They're both very recommended. They're both in a similar price point now. Uh, the Komodo is a more budget option. The Red Weapon 6K Carbon Fiber is more budget now because it's used, it's an uh, older generation. You can pick them up for pretty cheap relatively now if you're getting into filmmaking. So we recommend both of them, but we're still gonna decide which one is best for us to have right now. Make sure to stay liked, commented, and subscribed. <laughs> that, that was weird. <laughs> Make sure to like, comment, subscribe. Definitely subscribe so you can see uh, which camera we decide to go with in the future. We'll definitely let you know. Thank you so much for watching this video, and I'll see you in the next one.